let's take a look at our weather. You know, Craig says I always complain. <laughs> <laughs> but it's getting that time of the year. You but don't it's, have to still, it's still kind of warm. It's still, okay. It, it's All a right, little warm. It's getting there. Yeah, but we're getting closer to the time of year when Ellie doesn't complain there as much. There you go. That's a short period. <laughs> That's right. It's coming up probably sometime in November or December, maybe. Here's our Broward camera this evening downtown Fort Lauderdale looking off to the southwest. Nice evening. Just a few clouds out there. Not much in the way of any shower activity. 81 in Miami, 80 Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, 83 in Key West. A little bit warm. Uh, the humidity is kind of high, and that's what's making it feel even warmer than uh, we would start to see by the time we get into the middle and latter parts of October. East wind to 10 and no rain at MI. High temperatures today. Uh, pretty close to the normal. 88 is the uh, most common number there. 87 is the normal, so we were right around that. We're going to be there or a little warmer, and though in the coming days, so before we get a break in the heat, it's going to warm up a bit more. And there's the east breeze anywhere from 7 to 12 miles an hour. That may bring in a little shower later on tonight. Current temperatures in the upper 70s to the low 80s. Statewide, if you're looking for at least not as warm, it's up in central and north Florida where the temperatures are in the low to mid 70s. Now they've been dropping into the 60s at night. We'll drop into the 70s here in South Florida. Drier air is starting to move its way in. It's going to hang around for your Tuesday, Wednesday, and probably into Thursday as well before moisture starts to return. There's the Wednesday time frame, then Thursday. And then finally Friday, here comes some moisture, tropical moisture across the Gulf. And unfortunately, it looks just in time for the weekend once again. That's the Friday evening time frame there. A weak front comes down, but this one's not going to help, I don't think, because it's not going to bring any cooler or drier air. It's not going to make it through. It's only going to kind of focus the chances for rain over South Florida as we go into the weekend. In the tropics, several areas we're watching. One is this disturbance that's moving over land. Now, could it reemerge in the southern Gulf of Mexico? Uh, but development chances there are low. There's also a pretty strong wave, but it is approaching some wind shear, so conditions becoming unfavorable for development there. Finally, out there in the eastern Atlantic, the latest tropical depression for so far in, deep into the year in October. On record, it's Tropical Depression 15 could briefly become Tropical Storm Nestor before it dissipates. Our forecast for tonight looking pretty good. A full moon out there, a stray shower late, a low near 76. Tomorrow, look for plenty of sun, a very warm day once again, and a high temperature. Right there in the upper 80s, maybe even a few spots making it to about 90 degrees. For boaters, winds pretty light out there. East averaging 10 knots, sees two feet or less, a light chop on the bays. Through the rest of the week, into the weekend, looking pretty good. Chance for rain over the weekend. Back to you. Craig, thank you. More